All right. Um, my name is Charles, the Coach Wilson, and um, I just wanted to bring you some next level uh, tips to uh, grow and develop your uh, network marketing business. So uh, in the past couple of days, I've been having conversation with different networkers from a number of different companies. And I've um, also just had the uh, uh, incredible experience to be at some uh, great training this um, past weekend. And um, what I would like to share with you is that simply this, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a number of things that you can do to take your business to the next level. Um, <clears throat> give your business that infusion, if you will, of growth. And so there's there's two thing there there's one thing that you need in your business in order for it to grow, and that is you need leaders. You need leaders, and so um, there's two ways that you can get leaders within your organization. Um, you can develop leaders. That means you um, take the, the the people that you have and um, you develop them into leaders, or two, you can recruit leaders. Um, me personally, I would recommend that you do both. Develop leaders and recruit leaders. This will lead to massive growth within your organization. This is something that uh, um, a lot of networkers don't talk about, but recruiting leaders and developing leaders leads to massive growth within your organization. So here's the thing. Okay, now you know that you need to, one, recruit leaders, two, develop leaders. Okay, so then the next logical question is, okay, um, who do I develop? And so you need to consider who you're going to invest your precious time into to develop. And so I'm not going to get into any criterias. I'll let you um, come up with that. But you need to identify what is your criteria in order for you to, to feel like someone has leadership potential. And then when you identify this leadership potential within others, then you want to develop it so that it can grow. All right. But here's the thing. The second thing that you need to do is you need to recruit leaders. Now, uh, in order to recruit leaders, you got to be a leader. And so when you go back to those things that you look for in a leader, you need to ask yourself, you need to take an assessment of yourself and see how far you rate up on those skills or those characteristics. Are you the leader that you want to have on your team? Because leaders attract leaders. Leaders develop leaders. And so um, you need to be able to identify who you want to invest your time in. And you also need to be able to um, identify how you determine um, that someone is a leader, you know, the type of leader that you want within your organization. And so um, lastly, lastly, a big key to um, recruiting leaders is you got to have vision. You have to have a vision. Where are you going? What are you going to do? How big is your vision? And so um, your vision has to be bigger than you, because if you're big, if your if your vision is small, then you don't need any help. You can do it all by yourself. So you have to have a big vision, and you have to be able to articulate it, and you should articulate it regularly. So just wanted to give you a couple things to um, help you get that expansive growth within your organization. Recruit and develop leaders, those two things. My name is Charles, the Coach Wilson. You can find me on social media at um, the Coach Wilson, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Talk with you later. Bye for now. Peace.